sign of Capricorn. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for December 21st through December 25th. It will be your weekly. Uh, if you want a private reading or you want to support the channel, look in the description box below and we'll get started as we call in the divine white light to bless our reading as we're doing it and bless you as you are watching it. We call in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power, divine wisdom, all that to come in to this reading and give us the message for the highest good for the sign of Capricorn. <clears throat> and Capricorn, we're going to start off with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. We'll do a few oracles and then ones that we find particularly challenging, we will clarify with the tarot. All right. Oh, nice. I think this one wants to come out too. Oh, nice. Okay, so co-create. The egg is like your manifestation. It's your project, whatever this project is going to be. The leopard is the amount of time it will take. It's very fast if you're doing something that's from the heart and if you're doing something that involves spirit with you. That's co-creating with spirit and it it will lead to your building blocks, your really strong foundation in your life, the strong things that keep everything bonded together. It's like the, the it's like the glue. It's the the foundation. So this is if you co-create with spirit, whatever you develop is gonna be something that ultimately provides your stability and your um freedom. Freedom really. All right. So, let's get let's get some of the spell casting. Spell casting. Let's use the spell casting deck for Capricorn. December 21st to 25th. Let's see if we can get one more. Ah. <laughs> One more. Love. Well, that's sweet. And this may be indi indicating that you will see more love in your life. If you are showing more love, the more, you know, this the equal energy give and take. Um, things, even if they don't seem fair right now, will be balanced in love. If everything's for the highest good for everybody, you're going to get support with that. And we have closure. So there might be a situation with love that needs closure. This can be anything. This this can be showing yourself love, self-compassion during a job change um, for things that you thought were a mistake, perhaps. Uh, maybe in a relationship, something needs closure. Someone, you know, left without really saying much. And I think someone might need closure from that. Um, we also have grieving. Oh, so that adds another layer to that. That um, closure, you might need closure over your grief, over something that you're grieving. And honestly, the more love you show and the more you uh, create with spirit, you will have help getting through that, finding closure too. All right, let's do, let's see. Let's do Kim Cran's The Archetype. And let's see if you can see those. Let's see, we'll put these up here. I think you can see all those. There we go. All right, so yeah, so we'll do the Kim Cran's Archetype next. Um, we'll definitely clarify some of these too. blue butterfly on the grieving. That's really pretty. That's almost like um, change, transformation. So the person, if they passed on, they didn't, you know, just not exist. They just exist in spirit form. All right, Capricorn 21st through 25th. Let's get that one. The box, the vessel. All right, the vessel I'm not really sure of, and I'll have to look that one up. 
the box is about not limiting yourself to things that have, uh, don't shut in the answers to an outcome or um, don't think within the box. Think with, you know, think around outside the box so that you have more opportunities reach you. Um, and it, especially if you leave your mind open to any way to get what you're wanting to manifest. Uh, let's see. And I think that also is kind of a warning not to be too close-minded to, uh, let's see. The vessel. It means the body, the container, or the cup. It says the vessel might be the most powerful archetype form on earth. It is everywhere. Cups hold liquid. Stoves hold fire. Our bodies hold our organs. Our homes hold families. Through the simple act of separation, the vessel protects what it contains. Nests protect the egg. Savings account protect the, protect the earnings. Even the planets are contained within their circular orbit. When this card appears, it's time to assess what is being held together and how. Is the vessel too tight, too loose, broken, empty, or full? Or perhaps there's, there's no vessel at all and the contents spill in every direction. It's natural for structures to be formed and eventually fall apart. Hmm. It's time for you to build, break, or repair. You must find out. This is about being stable, strong, and graceful. And it might have to do with with the grieving or closure, actually. All right, let's get you some tea leaves. Capricorn, this is for December. December 21st, whoa, through the 25th for Capricorn. All right, we have star, the card of Aquarius. It says guaranteed success. Guaranteed success on what you're building, what it is that you're building. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Well, we'll definitely draw um, a card for that. Then dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Gavel, involvement with the law. You may not see a solution if it's with the law. You may not see a solution since it's touching the box. It may be like being fixated on the outcome because you think that's the only way that it's going to be and life kind of surprising you. That makes sense. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Something that was tied together has broken apart, according to that. Let's uh, let's get the tarot. Let's do the Rider Waite tarot. We're actually going to end up uh, clarifying these, most of these. So, Feather, um, someone you know is undependable, insincere. Let's get a card for that. For Capricorn, 21st, 25th. We have the Justice card. Could be Libra or something might not be fair or balanced. And it may, be, may involve this person. Um, so Justice comes in and it's usually for your favor, whatever you're going through. Um, just know that everything will be equal. Everything's going to be equal in the end. And it's touching the star too. So we have Libra, Aquarius. Let's look at, um, okay, let's look at gavel. Gavel, involvement with the law. Let's look at that gavel. Oh, look, see? You need more information and celebration. So there's going to be something that turns out in your favor. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, Page of Swords. It could be a child. Um, but this card is about getting more information. So needing to get more information on things. Sometimes it means gossiping or um, spying. But mainly I think it involves your celebration with this issue. Especially since it's touching now. The Justice, Gavel, and then the Three of Cups. So that's really good news for you. Um, broken Bridge, Unsuccessful Outcome to a Problem. Let's see, clarify what that means. Ooh. Something about a journey, a trip. Maybe um, in the car, maybe a vacation. Maybe dealing with a cancer that didn't have a good outcome for you. Uh, 
whatever this is, it's suggesting that there was something in the past that was not a victory, didn't turn into a victory. And it was something that you really, you know, wanted to be fair. But just know that fairness is coming in with this justice card and we have the celebration. So whatever didn't work out in the past, it's okay. We can move on from that and we have some good news after we move on too. All right, Capricorn, thanks for joining me. Sending love and light out to you. Bye.